So next problem, using the Taylor series expansion for this polynomial, uh, determine the zeroth, first, third, fourth, second and fifth order approximations of f of x sub 0 plus h where x sub 0 is equal to 0 and h is equal to 2 and compare this with the exact solutions so the solution will be so h is equal to 2 as provided in the problem and x is equal to 0 or ibig sabihin nun, the, the x value will be the reference point but in this case this is equal to 0 Therefore, parang Maclaurin series yung gagamitin natin. And then, h is equal to 2. So, we are interested on the function value at 2. So, let's first compute the first derivative at, of the function at x is equal to 0. And since the function is just a polynomial, so we will just use the power formula to compute the derivative. So the first derivative is equal to negative 4 times 0.15 x cubed minus 3 times 0.17 x squared minus 2 times 0.25 x minus 0 0.25 and evaluating the uh, value at x is equal the function value at x is equal to 0 so the first derivative is equal to negative 0 0.25 or itong first three terms magiging zero kasi x is equal to zero. So the first derivative is equal to negative 0 0.25. Next, let's compute the second derivative. So i-differentiate natin yung uh, expression ng first derivative. So that um, f double prime is equal to um, negative 1.8x squared minus 1.02x minus 0 0.5 and at x is equal to 0 so the second derivative value is negative 0 0.5 the third derivative at x is equal to 0 so negative 3.6x minus 1.02 the value is negative 1.02 and the fourth derivative is negative 3.6 or constant na siya. Meaning, the fifth derivative is just equal to 0. And the derivative higher than the fifth derivative is also equal to 0. Okay. Next, let's write the Taylor series expansion so that we can estimate the function value at h is equal to 2. Okay. So for the first order approximation, it means that uh, we only have to consider the Taylor series expansion up to the first derivative. Okay, so sa Taylor series expansion na to, only the first two terms will be considered for the first order approximation. That means that we have f of 0 plus 2 is equal to f of x sub 0. So the function value at, at 0 is equal to 1.25 plus h is equal to 2 times the, the first derivative value is negative 0 0.25. So that means that the first or order approximation is equal to 0 0.75. Okay? For the second order approximation, we add the term with the second derivative. Ito siya. So that means we have uh, 1.25 plus 2 times negative 0.25 plus 2 square all over 2 factorial multiplied by the second derivative value which is equal to negative 0 0.5. That means that the second order approximation is equal to negative 0 0.25. For the third order approximation, so we will add uh, the term with the third derivative um, value. So that means we have negative 1.61. And then for the fourth order of approximation, we have um, negative 4.01. Then for the fifth order approximation, uh, the same lang siya sa fourth order because we already computed that the fifth order of approx uh, that the fifth derivative at x is equal to zero is equal to zero. So, kumbaga, uh, wala siyang effect sa fourth order approximation because we just, we will just add uh, zero na quantity. 
or kumbaga, negative 4.01 plus 0 is still equal to negative 4.01. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, the fourth order of approximation up to the nth order of approximation are all equal. Okay? So, if we're going to tabulate our solution para mas makita natin ang clearer view, the true value of the function at 2 is equal to negative 4.01. So, saan natin yan siya nakuha? Uh, using analytical solution, we will just substitute the the value of x is equal to 2 in the original uh, expression. So, compute natin. f of 2 is equal to negative 0 0.15 times 2 raised to 4 minus 0 0.17 times 2 cubed minus 0 0.25 times 2 square minus 0 0.25 times 2 plus uh, 1.25. So, that will give us a value of negative 4.01. So, that's the true value. However, if we're going to use the Taylor series expansion, we were able to arrive at the following order of approximations. So, for the first order of approximation, the value at x is equal to 2 is 0.75 with an error of 118.7%. So, masyadong malaki yung error. So, how, do we, how did we compute the error? So, the error is just equal to the... Uh, approximation minus the true value divided by the true value. Then, the absolute value na lang natin yun siya. Kasi error lang man ang i-compute natin. Okay? Then, for the second order of approximation, we were able to obtain a value of negative 0.25 with an error of 93.77%. So, as you can see, as we uh, increase the order of approximation, uh, we consider um, the first, second derivative, and so on. Uh, parang papalapit tayo ng papalapit sa true answer. So, ibig sabihin nun, if we're going to use a Taylor series expansion, the, the, kung marami tayong i-consider ng mga terms in the Taylor series expansion, mas magliless yung error or yung truncation error is magliless siya. Okay? So, for the third and fourth order, makita natin that the third order approximation has an error of 59.85% only. Okay? From, nine, from 118, naging 59.85% na siya once we consider the third order of approximation. And pagdating naman sa fourth order of approximation, nakuha na natin yung tamang answer so that the error will now be equal to zero. So, what does that mean? Uh, the truncation error may be estimated using the uh, Taylor series expansion. The, ha the Kung marami tayong i-consider ng mga terms sa Taylor series expansion, then mag mabawasan din natin yung truncation error brought to us by this numerical uh, approach.